busted, NSA leaker, reality winner, is in even more trouble after these shocking revelations. NSA contractor and leaker, reality winner, 25, was denied bail today as more details were released about her alleged crimes and feelings towards the federal government. Winner allegedly leaked highly classified documents about a Russian cyber attack to a media outlet in May. Winner entered a plea of not guilty, but prosecutors warned that she held strong anti-American sentiment and may even be in control of more classified data. She had allegedly inserted a USB drive into a top secret computer and the USB has not yet been located. Check out the video of her pleading not guilty at the end of this article. Authorities had also recovered handwritten notes in her home uh, allegedly saying I want to burn the White House down and go live in Kurdistan. Other notes expressed sympathy for the likes of Osama bin Laden and Taliban leader Mullah Ak Tar Mohammed Mansour. This woman obviously has some serious issues and poses a real threat to national security. Luckily, she was caught before she did even more damage. Prosecutors called Winner extremely intelligent, yet she was caught telling family members she intended to play the court because she was pretty, white, and cute in recorded phone conversations from jail. She also encouraged her family to go nuclear with the press because that's how Chelsea Manning got out. These six statements show that Winner knows exactly what she's doing. Winner is facing up to 10 years in prison and a $250,000 in fines. She has been sitting in the Lincoln County Jail in Augusta, Georgia since her arrest on charges of willful retention and transmission of national defense information. Government contractor Reality Winner appeared in court Thursday. She's charged with illegally retaining and transmitting national defense information. The 25-year-old is accused of copying an intelligence report and sending it to the online publication The Intercept. David Begno has the latest. Reality Winner was poised and polite as she stood before the federal magistrate here in Augusta, Georgia, telling him she understood everything he was saying. She was allowed to sit alongside her paid defense attorneys. The marshals took off her handcuffs, but they left her shackled at the ankles. Her mother and stepfather were in court listening. As the federal prosecutor took to the podium and said, we have information which has not been released yet, and it is both concerning and very disturbing. And then the prosecutor went on to say this. They allege that Reality Winner, while she was serving in the Air Force several years ago, plugged a thumb drive into a classified computer and presumably downloaded information. The question is, where is that thumb drive? And in denying her bail today, the judge said he's very concerned about where that thumb drive is and what's on it. The judge also said he was concerned by evidence presented by the prosecution that Reality Winner has a fascination with the Middle East and Islamic terrorism. And the judge said that, in part, was one reason he did not want to grant her bail or even give her the chance to put up money. Reality Winner's mother and stepfather took to the stand today and testified that they would put up whatever money and property was needed to help secure her bail before she presumably went to trial. Her parents talked about her being an A student, never giving them any problems. But the parents apparently said they hadn't heard other information released by the government, such as Reality Winner was using multiple cell phones, according to the government, with different SIM cards that would all but prevent the government from tracing her calls and information. The government also said that they have evidence that she was using special online tools to access the dark web, making it nearly impossible to trace what she was doing. Elaine? David, thanks. Wow, this story is getting deeper and deeper as it uh, unfolds. Unbelievable. And to look at her, you wouldn't think that. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.